We're just having a look at my Szechuan pepper tree. It's deciduous, so it lost all its leaves back in October and has looked a bit like a thorny stick since then. But just recently I've noticed there's some little buds coming up now. Now it's not really as tall as it could be. It wanted to be either. It, um, it kept on growing, so I topped it at one point to try to get it to branch out, but that didn't work. And then I thought I'd try again, and that again didn't work. So this year I'm going to leave it to its own devices and see how tall it gets. And if it decides to branch out, that's a great thing. It just grew sort of little like branch-like leaves, but they weren't actually branches with several other branches, if you know what I mean. It just was just like all the way up and down, we just had sort of leaves. Really, really gorgeous and really aromatic and, and edible too. So really enjoyable. Um, this year I'm actually hoping because in the second year they can flower and fruit. So I've got it back um, just over a year ago now. So I'm hoping that this year you might actually see some fruit. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you was I wasn't sure if it was a bit early for it to start budding and everything. It hasn't broken bud yet, but it's still, I wasn't sure because we're in, in March now. But if you look here, when I took lots of, when I topped the tree, I took lots of cuttings and the thicker ones, so the more hardwood ones did not take, but the more softwood one, one of them anyhow, is a little tiny tree now. And it's also actually breaking bud even. It does live in the greenhouse, so it's warmer than and more protected than um, than the big guy. But hopefully it will continue to grow. And it, it also indicates that this is the right time for it to start budding up and maybe even think about breaking bud soon. So hopefully it'll be okay. They're, they're really hardy. They're good in this climate, in the UK climate. Um, they come from China, so they're used to really, really cold climates even. Um, and they're really easy to look after. The one thing you have to do is if you have citrus fruits, you have to be a bit careful about not having them too close to each other because the Sichuan tree um, can actually carry a canker that can harm the citrus fruits. Whereas the, the Sichuan won't be hurt by the canker, but the citrus fruits could be. It's a bit random. But um, so I do have like a few citruses, so I'm going to try to keep them in a definitely different part of the garden because during the summer, my citrus fruits will be going outside. Um, but they have to be somewhere where they won't be in too close proximity to this little guy, just in case he's, he's carrying something. So, um, but I'm sure he's not, but um, hopefully it'll all work out. Um, yeah, and he's just looking really good. He's looking healthy. I'm glad he's, he's survived his winter here. Um, pretty much a second winter here with us since we got him. We got him back in, in January last year. So, yeah, really, really gorgeous. And I'm looking forward to showing you when he starts fruiting, hopefully flowering first obviously so lots of fun things to update you with soon see you next time